Welcome to RetroViewer. Let's get started with how to build your own reel using your mobile device. Step 1. Name your reel. It's a good idea to start with naming your reel. Select the orange box on the top labeled Name Your Reel and type it in. Step 2. Working with frames. Each reel has seven frames that you can individually add images and text to, plus an image for the center art. To work on a particular frame, just select it from the row below or use the arrows on either side of the image to navigate through them. Step 3. Adding Images To add an image, make sure you select the frame you want the image to go in first. Then select the Change Image button on the lower half of the screen. You can select an image from your device or choose one from our vast collection that might serve as a great background. To replace an image, you just need to repeat the process. Or to completely delete the image, select the Delete Image button. Step 4. Editing the image. Once an image appears in the large box, you can use the controls below to adjust it to your liking. There are many options to help the image look its best. By using two fingers, you can easily scale and rotate the image. You can also move and crop the image in the large frame by dragging it with a single finger. Step 5. Adding text. To add text on the image, select the T icon box on the left. Select the green field labeled Type Here and type in your text. Then use the controls below to edit the font, size, and color. You can move around the text on the image to the position you want. To add another text field, deselect the first text box by touching the background image, and then start typing new copy in the text box again. To delete a text field, select the text and then click the X on the right of the green field. Step 6. Center Art to work on the center art, select the circle frame which is to the right of frame 7 at the bottom of the screen and watch as the large photo box changes to a circle. You are now ready to add an image and edit it just like you had for the frames. When you are finished, select the Done Editing Center Image button under the large circle. Step 7. Previewing your reel. When you are done editing the frames and center art, it's time to preview the reel. Click the green Preview button on the top and give it a moment to render the reel. Once there, you can see the reel and an enlarged version of a frame. Click the Next or Back button to preview all seven frames. If you are satisfied with your work, click the Approve button. If not, you can go back and do more editing. Don't have enough time to finish your reel? We have a save button on the top of the editing page. You can safely exit from here as well. Step 8. Ordering your reel. Once you have a completed and approved reel, you can purchase it from the account page. Select the product you want and hit Purchase Now. From there, it will walk you through a process to add it to the cart. If you have a gift certificate or a redemption code for a free reel, enter that information on the checkout page. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us via phone or email from our site. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy your personalized RetroViewer Reel, powered by Image3D.